to me, this is where the real power lies within Laravel Orion's filtering capabilities. Now, if you don't understand scopes, I'm going to create one and briefly explain it, but check out the Laravel docs if you want to understand this a little bit further. So this will be fun. Let's go to our post class here, and we're going to add a few scopes. So let's say public function scope published. Now, whenever we add the word scope to the beginning of a public function for a model, this is a Laravel convention to say, hey, this is going to be a query scope. And that means that it can accept a query object. And so now what we can do is return that query object and then say where published is true. So let's just finish that off. And I might actually add a little bit of a comment here as well. Scope the query to published posts. And I'll get rid of that. We're just going to keep the comments simple for this video. So what this is basically doing is it's saying if I'm writing a query. So if, for example, I say post where, I don't know, title is equal to some title. And I'm chaining onto that. I can actually chain the word published here. And it's going to add this scope on top of it. Maybe I should do this on the one line so it's it's formatted better. So yeah, so this is basically like saying post where the title is equal to some title. And instead of saying where published is equal to true, we can then just say published, okay? So this is the exact same thing. Instead of saying where published is equal to true, we can now use this query scope that we created. Now, the cool thing about query scopes is it cleans up our code, and it also means that if we change the way you scope by publish behind the scenes, we don't have to change the code everywhere else. We just change it in this one place, okay? So now let's go ahead and see how we can use this scope. Actually, before we do that, let's add one more scope because I want to just make sure that we've got a full example here. So we can say where category, query, and then we can actually add another parameter here. So we can say category. So it's going, to, it's going to receive a category. And we'll say where the category is equal to the category that is passed through. So what that means now is that we can say post. And if we've got some sort of a query there, we can say category. Or in fact, this would probably be better if it said where category. Yeah, there we go. Then we can say where category is equal to Laravel Orion. Okay, so writing this is the same as basically adding in that query there. So basically I'm showing you here that query scopes can accept parameters too. All right, that's enough explaining of query scopes. Change this here, scope the query by category, and let's go have a look at how we can actually use these. So if we go to post controller, come down here, and we say protected function exposed scope. So there it is there. Once again, we return an array. And the scopes that we created were published. And the other one was called where category. Now we can use these scopes using Orion. And you're going to find that this code is so much cleaner and so much more beautiful to use in your APIs. And it's also a little bit more scalable as well because we're using scopes behind the scenes, which just cleans up your code and allows you to change things more easily in the future. So let's go ahead and actually start using this now. So if you sort, now we're going to use scopes. That accepts an array because of course, you can have more than one scope. And let's say the name is equal to published. That's it. Run that through and it's only going to show us published posts now. How cool is that? How ridiculously easy was it to grab all of the published posts by using scopes in the background? Now, in that category example, we also had a parameter. So how do we deal with that? Well, let's add another scope here. And the name of this scope is where category. And then we can also add parameters. So let's say the parameter of that is how about coding architecture. So basically, we can send through more than parameter more than one parameter if we want, which is why this is an array. So where the category 
has coding architecture as its category. Whoop, bring that back, send this through, and now everything is going to be published and everything is going to have a category of coding architecture, which is kind of ironic because what I just showed you is a great example of how you can have good coding architecture by using scopes. So that's it for this video. I hope that this has opened your eyes to the amazing power that we have through filters, scopes, searching, all that kind of stuff. This has really been blowing my mind and I can't wait to show you how we can even apply all of this to relations. And by the way, one thing that I really wanna just drill home on here is we can combine all of this stuff together. So then we could go ahead and say filter, throw in an array there and say the field is equal to the title and then say the operator is equal to equal to and then of course say the value and then go ahead and like copy this, which I just did, but I'll just copy it again. So you can see me as I do it. Oh, and that should all be wrapped inside of an object. Sorry, I just missed that. So grab that, cut it, and just paste it into there. Make sure it's formatted correctly. Oh, that should have an S. Send that through. So we can scope things, filter things, sort things, all in one request, and behind the scenes, Orion is going to take care of the rest. I think this API is ridiculously powerful and beautiful to use. And by the way, this isn't even the most exciting part of using Laravel Orion. I haven't even showed you relationships yet and how you can create related endpoints and use all of this searching and scoping and filtering stuff and attaching things as well when you've got relationship endpoints, syncing things when you've got a relationship endpoint. It's super exciting. I can't wait to start working on the next video and showing it to you. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you then.